going YouTube? My name is Blake Yarbrough and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the second release of the Tom Sachs General Purpose Shoe. A special thank you to Tradeblock for sponsoring today's video as well. We're going to talk about that in just a few minutes. But I also want to remind you guys that I am doing a 365 day wear test on this shoe right here. The Tom Sachs General Purpose Shoe in the studio colorway. I've got a DS pair here to keep for comparison. But this pair right here I've been wearing every single day to Today is day 64. I wanted to just talk about that for just a second. Make sure you check out the series. We're on episode two. Episode three will be coming out in the next 30 to 40 days. And this has been a lot of fun so far. You can obviously see the shoe has aged quite a bit. So make sure you check out that series. But today's video is all on this second colorway, which is called Dark Sulfur. I'm calling it Mustard. So let's take a detailed look at this new Mustard Tom Sachs GPS. Packaging. Now this packaging is actually the exact same as the first studio colorway. You've got this beautiful orange Nike craft box. You've got Tom Sachs handwriting all around it. On the bottom, it says own less, do more. Also very cool part of the message, which is right inside on the box lid right there. And I'm not gonna lie, early leaks of this sneaker, wasn't really a fan. It's not that I don't like them. I actually do like this colorway. I still consider the studio colorway to be a bit better. I like it a little bit more, but let's talk about this colorway. You've got the same black outsole that you do on the studio colorway. I'm sure at some point they're going to do a different color on the outsole, but so far just black on the outsole. Then you've got this light cream midsole. Now this, I really like a lot. I think this looks amazing. It's got that that same pebble texture which looks really cool up close and then we move to the upper now Nike is calling this dark sulfur to me this is mustard I think everybody's kind of agreed this is basically the mustard colorway and in person, it looks so much better. This does look really good. It's not going to change my opinion. I'm not gonna buy this for a personal pair. I just got these for the video and they are now loaded onto my trade block closet. But this one right here, I think does look so much better in person. I've seen some images on Instagram of people wearing these with like navy pants, Tom Sachs wearing these with like a dark colored denim and they do look good. They do pop. Wrapping around the upper, you've got this mustard or dark sulfur on the suede, which looks fantastic. The suede on these guys depending on which pair you get it could be softer it could be a little bit more rough and that's just going to be part of the quality control of these shoes being mass produced then moving up from the suede you got this same mesh that they did on the first pair however this is done in that dark sulfur color and you can actually see i guess however it's either dyed or woven you can actually see that same like kind of white or cream color mesh underneath. So that actually looks really nice. Then the paint is done in a dark sulfur color as well. And this paint will crack guys. If you check out my other videos, after just a few days of wear, this paint layer did start to crack. So keep that in mind, depending on how hard you wear them, that will crack eventually. Then we've got this white swoosh, which I think adds a lot of pop. Everything is done in a light cream guys, as far as the laces, the tongue, but this swoosh is done in a white. So I think that adds a lot of pop to it. The tag on the tongue, of course, is done in white as well. And then you've got the pull tabs, which are done in a very bright orange. I thought this was red initially, but it's actually a bright orange and it looks really good. To me, this is kind of like a play on McDonald's colorway, which Tom Sachs put out some McDonald's art recently. He's a huge fan of McDonald's. And so that would kind of make sense for him to drop somewhat of a McDonald's themed colorway. This one is really nice guys like the cream i really like the light cream on the laces and the tongue you've also got it here on the sock liner and the midsole is done in the light cream so i'm a big fan when they do like that kind of off-white sale light cream color on sneakers i think it looks a lot better than white and just that white swoosh does look really clean tom Sachs handwriting there on the heel it says nike this is a cool shoe guys resale right now is down on these they're down around 200 to 250 bucks depending on your size 
size. And speaking of size, if you guys haven't seen my other videos, I talk about it a lot more in depth, but I sized down a half size in these. So I wanna make sure I said that in this video as well. I sized down a half size. If you have wider feet, maybe stay true to size. My foot, I would say is average width. And so I went down half size, still have room in the toes. And the material does kind of break in as you wear these. They're stiff the first few days, and then they break in super nice. This is one of the most comfortable sneakers that I've had in a while. And being on day 63 of the wear test, they're only getting more comfortable at this stage. Hey guys, I wanted to pop in real quick and talk about Trade Block. Trade Block is the best way to trade sneakers period. You're able to load your collection, your closet into the app and then see other people's closets. You can follow them. You can actually DM with them, share pictures. It's a really cool intuitive app and it's a great way to trade your sneakers. I've teamed up with them in the past and I'm teaming up with them again. I'm doing giveaways every single week. So make sure you follow me and follow Trade Block over on Instagram. The link to download the app is down in the description as well as the top comment guys. Make sure you download the app. Follow me. I'm trading these actually because these are a little bit too big. So if you guys are interested, this is a size men's 11 and a half. They are on my trade block right now. So make sure you download it, follow me and send me some trades. Now let's get back into the video. Okay, before I share my final thoughts on this sneaker, I want to show something that I've had in my closet now for a couple weeks and I keep forgetting to add it into the videos, but I was able to find somebody selling the newspaper article that Tom Sachs put out before this shoe release. So super sick. I found somebody selling this online. I'm trying to keep it in really nice condition because ultimately, I would like to have it signed and framed. So just thought I would add this into the video. It's pretty cool um, that he took out an entire page in the newspaper in New York for this shoe. And I'm not sure if he did it for this one. I did see, look, look, look at me. I did see that he made an ad on a billboard that said creativity. So I'm not sure if he's gonna do it for every one. That would be pretty interesting if he came up with something different each time he released a colorway, because as far as I know, there are going to be a lot of colorways of these. There's some other ones coming up that I would like to make videos on as well. So if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see me keep making these videos, make sure you leave a like down below. But this sneaker, guys, it is a nice colorway. A lot of people have hit me up, asked me, do I like them? Do I want them? Would I buy them? And personally, it's not one that I care to own, but I do like it. I do like it. But just right now, I'm focused on wearing the studio colorway every single day. So I don't need every single one that he's going to release. However, I'm sure I will buy multiple pairs of these as they continue to release. I'm super excited. It's a super simple shoe, guys, and that's what he was going for. I think he did a great job. It does obviously share a lot of characteristics with the Nike Kill Shot 2, which I've been a fan of for a while. So as far as a casual, everyday type sneaker, this one is really hitting for me this year. I've enjoyed wearing it my first two months. And as I said, 365 days. Guys, subscribe down below to follow along with that journey, as well as other videos that I'll be dropping on these as they continue to release. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching today. And with that, we're on to the next sneaker.